If that mission is successful, it could lead to the return of manned space flights from the Space Coast. News 6's James Barbero shows us the preparations already underway. The SpaceX crew access arm and white room extending from the top of launch pad 39A without a rocket tonight, but that changes in the coming days. And then Saturday, we anticipate the most critical spaceflight mission of the year thus far. On the heels of last week's successful reflight of this rocket returning to Port Canaveral, it will be a brand new Falcon 9 flying Saturday morning to the International Space Station. The final liftoff of Atlantis. It's been eight years since the final space shuttle mission. Atlantis was the last human rated spaceship to launch from Florida. The SpaceX Crew Dragon, the evolution of its cargo counterpart. This mission Saturday is a test flight. No astronauts on board. If the Crew Dragon can successfully rendezvous with the space station and splash down in the Atlantic, NASA becomes one step closer to returning Americans to space on American rockets. NASA has been struggling for years now to gain a capability to launch U.S. astronauts from U.S. soil and end the agency's sole reliance on the Russian Soyuz vehicles. And this flight is a first step in that direction. The second step is the emergency abort test of the Crew Dragon, which would follow the successful test flight. That would happen in April on the rocket at the port. The new Falcon 9 will also attempt a landing. The big point is just to make sure this thing works as they expect it will. Launch, docking, undocking, re-entry and splashdown. The instantaneous liftoff window opens at 2.49 a.m. A launch with astronauts is targeted for July. At the Kennedy Space Center, I'm James Sparvero getting results news 6. And we are following the Crew Dragon launch closely. You can find the details on the mission and what it will mean for the Space Coast. It's all on clickorlando.com slash space. Now, and if the launch happens, we will bring it to you live on air.